Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make special effects in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode, super cool, especially for those of you who are into light painting and creating special effects. We're gonna take an image that we actually shot for our 4th of July sale, and we're gonna show you how to add special effects to the lightning and all the crazy stuff that's going around our subject. Now, this photo is actually pretty close to straight out of camera. What we did is we used sparklers to create light painting, and that's what's lighting the subject's face as well as her hands. So if you're into light painting and you wanna learn more about how to do this, let us know in a comment down below. We're happy to make episodes just on light painting. Now in today's episode, we're taking images from the photo shoot as well as a couple stock photos from Photolia.com. We're gonna show you how to blend those images together to create special effects and make these images really glow. We're gonna show you how to use blending modes as well as adjustment layers to get these photos looking perfect. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. So here's the image, we photographed this a couple of weeks ago and I think it turned out amazing. These are actually sparklers that we had around our subject and we moved them during the exposure to get all these creative effects. So we have from one side all the way over to the other, and this is, again, this is all sparklers, guys. So it already looks killer. What we're gonna do is just kind of step it up a notch. We're gonna add a lot of special effects around these glows. And we're gonna do so using other photos from this photo shoot as well as stock images. All right, so let's go ahead and load the files into Photoshop. We're gonna go up here to File, down here to Scripts, and I'm gonna go down to Load Files into Stack. Let's go ahead and hit Browse, and then I'm gonna shift click on all of my images. There we go, open them up and hit OK. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna put all the images into one document so I don't have to open a whole lot of images and then try to sort them and stuff like this. They're all together now. Okay, so what we see is we have an image of a galaxy. This is from Fotoli.com. And then we just have a few other images from the photo shoot. And this is really when we were like testing and kind of playing around and you can see people are kind of like moving around and there's just a lot of chaos in this image. Now. This is, it's a super valuable lesson because this image, let me just full screen it. Let's go ahead and analyze this photo here. Now, looking at this image, you're like, uh, I don't even know why we would use that. Like, this is obviously a throwaway photo. But what I wanna encourage you guys is to take other images from the same photo shoot, maybe while you're getting your lighting done, things like that, and try to use those in creative ways with your final photo. And in this case, we're gonna be using some of this area here to kind of blend it into the sparks to really give it a lot of special effects. So we've got all of our different images together. We've got our sky, and then we've got all these other like kind of blooper images from the photo shoot. Now I'm gonna shift click on all those and hit Control or Command G to group them together. Now we're gonna use the Move tool and I'm gonna click and drag from one image over to my background. There we go. And here you can see the images on my background. So they're over top of the image we have, our main image. All right, let's go ahead and close out this other document and we're ready to start working. All right, we've got all our images into our main photo. Now let's go ahead and break them down and see how we're actually gonna use these images. Well, we're gonna start off by changing our blending modes. So I'm gonna shift click on all these images actually, shift click on all those, and I'm gonna change the blending mode from normal down to screen. And this is basically going to eliminate all the dark areas. So you can see with the screen blending mode, now I'll just change it so you can see here's what normal looks like. But anything that's dark in a screen blending mode is going to disappear. So when I change the blending mode to screen, this is what I have instead. And then you can see now we've got something that's starting to be really fun to play with. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like if we just transform it. I'm gonna hit Control or Command T and just rotate this around there, something like that. And you can see this is, this is the same person. Like this is actually her, just like in a long shutter speed. Now I'm gonna move this up here and all of a sudden, let's just hit enter there instead of like looking like a subjects, it, it looks like a, some kind of like weird special effects that's actually kind of glowing out of my image. Now, just to make sure we're taking care of all of our boundaries, let's go ahead and put a layer mask on there. And then I'm gonna paint black on my layer mask. There we go, right around the edge. All right, so we want all this to be black just to make sure that it's not visible. But the main area, there we go, right around this photo, you can see all of that is simply from a photo that we took and rotated around and stretched out. 
which is a really, really cool beginning. And you're like, wow, that actually is a super cool, like look at that really nice blur in there. It adds a lot to the photo and it was incredibly easy to do because I'm using existing photos. So we can see what that looks like with one photo. Let's go ahead and add more to create more of the special effect. So this time I'm gonna turn this layer on, which is again, it's just a, another image from this photo shoot. And I'm gonna bring it right around there. So you can see, you can use just certain parts of the images. You don't have to use all of, of the images. This is, in this case, I'm just gonna use this glow that's around her head. And I'm gonna hit Control or Command T to bring up our transform dialog. And we're just gonna kind of rotate that around to see what this, lo this looks like. There we go. Let's go ahead and scale that up a little bit as well. All right, pretty cool. So now we have this area that's kind of like showing, like it, it's kind of extending out the hand. I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click on my layer mask icon. And that's gonna make a black layer mask. So Alt or Option, click on my layer mask. That's gonna make the entire layer invisible. And then what I can do is simply paint white on my layer mask, just where I want that layer to actually be visible. All right, and we can see there, boom, we have another special effect that's added like, how quick is this? It's insanely easy to do. And by the way, if you're like, ah, I wanna create this special effect, I don't have any cool images, just go to flurn.com to this very episode. We'll put a link on the screen right now. You can download the images that I'm using in this tutorial um, to actually create special effects if you have anything that glows like this. All right, let's turn on another one and see where this is gonna go. So now this is on, maybe I wanna use this right up here. So I'm gonna hit Control or Command T. We'll bring our transition point right over there. There we go, and hit enter. And this looks like, I mean, this was the back of someone's head, but it, it's insane how much it actually looks like. You know what, let's flip this horizontally. It actually looks like it's, you know, fire coming out of this thing, which is, um, it, it, it's just awesome. All right, there we go. You know what, let's flip this around vertically. So I'm just kind of playing around. This is like the whole point here is like, just play around and see what you can get. Yeah, that looks really killer there. All right, so I'm gonna hold Alt or Option again, click on my layer mask. That's gonna make a black layer mask. And now I'm gonna paint with white right over here. All right. There we go, that's really cool. Now if I want another one, I'm just gonna hit Control or Command J to duplicate that. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's hit Control or Command T. I'm gonna flip this vertically. There we go, and I can create another one on the underside. And you know what, I'll even stretch this out a little bit just so it doesn't look like it's the exact same. There we go. <laughs> That's super cool. And you guys can see, I'm, I'm literally just playing around. Now this one just happened to be a couple lights from the photo shoot, or we, had, we were like shining a flashlight right into the camera. And I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. And then this, you can see, again, it's a normal photo. This is what the photo looked like before. Okay, I'm just changing the blending mode for, from normal down to screen. And now I have these little areas that are like little light glows. And I can put these wherever I want. You know, if I wanted them to be centered here, I can put some over there. If I wanted, you know, to call attention to this area, I could put those over there. Now you don't want to put them in the middle of a black area. That doesn't make any sense. But if I wanted to, you know, have them shine a little bit more light on this hand, I could do that too. Let's go ahead and put these right over here. I think this is going to work out really nice. Yeah. Right there, Alt or Option. Click on the layer mask, which will make the layer mask black, and then paint it white. There we go. All right, this is looking awesome. All right, guys, so up until now, we're using images from our actual photo shoot, which is great, because I already have these images, and they would kind of be throwaway images, except I'm using them to create special effects. But maybe you guys don't have images like this. So what I'm gonna do next is we're gonna load an image of a galaxy from Photolia.com, and then we're gonna use it to create even more special effects on this photo. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in our galaxy, the picture of a night sky here. Again, and you can see this is what this image looks like, normal, and we're gonna change the blending mode from normal down to screen. There we go. And this is an awesome opportunity to add some other color and light into our image. Now, one thing we're kind of running into here is you can see it, this looks great, but I, I really want this area in between each of the stars to be black. I, I don't need this like light blue haze there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change the levels on this layer because a screen blending mode is going to make anything that's black invisible. So screen blending mode, the lights are visible, the darks are not visible. So if I want some of the background to be less visible, 
what I need to do is I need to make the darks even darker, which is going to make them invisible because we're using a screen blending mode. So I hope that made sense. We're going to make the darks darker using a levels adjustment layer. So I'm going to hit Control or Command L on this layer to bring up our levels. And now you can see here are my darks. I just want to make the darks darker. There we go. And if I do a good enough job at this, this is what we get. Oh, that looks super cool. So this is what we had before, where you can see you know, this information is still visible. I'm making the darks darker, which basically makes it invisible. All right, that is killer awesome. And now we're, get, we're getting something like this, which is a whole lot more usable than what we started with. So let's play around with this. I'm going to hit Control or Command J. We'll make a couple of these. I really like adding this blue in here, by the way. I think this it's a, just a cool like style choice. Um, add some blue and some oranges. They, they just always look good together. Now we can shrink this down. We can scale it up just like anything else. We're just creating special effects here. And the thing about special effects is there are really no rules. It's just time to kind of play around and have fun in Photoshop. All right, so I'm going to grab a black brush, and we're just going to kind of fuzzily paint this in. And you know, you might look at this and you may, might read like, oh, that's totally the Astromeda gal galaxy or Andromeda, Astromeda. Uh, I am not sure what I'm talking about. Um, you may look at that or you may just be like, oh, that's a cool like extra little bit of glowing special effects. Um, either way, it, it totally does the job. It adds interest to the photo. Now let's go ahead and see about this one. Again, you can make this larger or you can make it smaller. And I have no problem like duplicating these layers to create multiple effects. All right, let's go ahead and paint it black around the edge so it kind of fades out really nicely. All right, very cool. And there we have a little bit of effect. I'm gonna hit Control or Command J to duplicate that and then we'll just have another one that we can kind of put wherever we want. All right, there we go. You know what, I'm gonna leave this down here. I think that was cool down there. Let's make it a little bit smaller. So this is total play around time, guys, but you can see how using photos like this can really create a lot of special effects in your images. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the before and the after. All right, so here's our image before we added any special effects, and here's the after. Cool. All right, guys, you can see how easy this is. It's all about taking images that maybe are total throwaway images and thinking, oh, there's a nice blur here. I could use this to create a special effect. That's when a screen blending mode comes in handy. And remember, if the darks on your image are not dark enough like they were in the galaxy, just apply a levels adjustment layer. You can make those darks even darker and then they won't show up, giving you just the special effects of the photo. And if you'd like to download the images we used in today's tutorial, just click on the link on your screen right now and you can follow along and practice with what we've done today. Except I can't give you the Fotoli image because I don't own that company. Guys, we had so much fun creating this image. We used light painting, we used sparklers, we used a long exposure, and now we got special effects. So if you want to learn more about light painting or long exposures, let us know in a comment down below. We'd be more than happy to create an episode just for you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll flirt you later. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You get free videos. They just keep coming out. <laughs> I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. I am insanely hot. Like physically, it's very hot in this room. Take my pants off shoes. Like I would just throw that subscribe in at the end. Boom. Yeah.